Health Coaching Introduction Video Welcome to your Diploma in Health Coaching. This introductory video will give you some background to your program, define key terms, describe how this program is unique, and outline the topics that will be covered. Before you undertake your program, it is important to define what we mean when we say health coaching. This is a term which has a range of interpretations, so it is important to be clear on what we view this profession as to avoid confusion, maintain boundaries of practice, and be able to set yourself apart from other people in this field. A health coach is fundamentally interested in working in partnership with someone to support their health and to facilitate human flourishing. Health coaches require expertise in human behavior, but also knowledge of how someone's environment and lifestyle will impact their health and wellness. Health coaches must be able to view a person as a whole and make the links between how someone's values, emotions, thoughts, and meanings link with their diet, stress levels, physical activity, and sleep. Also, health coaches must be aware of the resulting symptoms a person's circumstance may produce, including chronic illness, burnout, poor mental well-being, and lack of productivity. Lastly, a health coach must invite people to think about how they navigate their environment, including the social, economic, and physical environment, to support people to make choices that will support their goals. In this way, the health coach aims to empower the client and upskill them to adapt, remain resilient, and choose lifestyle behaviors that will positively impact their health and well-being. Many health coach courses focus solely on the tools needed to optimize behavior change. Indeed, many health coaches are seen as essentially a counselor to facilitate people to make positive lifestyle choices. The focus for these courses is on the array of coaching approaches that one could adopt and the techniques associated with them. There are two differences of note in this program. Evidence suggests that the relationship you forge with a person in your ability to empower them and make them feel supported is the most potent aspect of the coaching relationship and the behavior change process. The philosophy you take is more important than the approach you adopt. Therefore, the first major difference in this program is the focus on how to develop an optimal relationship, communicate correctly, and develop these fewer tangible skills. The professional coaching content in this program deals with the essential techniques, but mainly the styles which allow you to develop your overarching coaching philosophy, which we know is more important than the tools you use. Also, the ability to reflect on your practice, suspend your own bias, and adapt your communication is taught to you in the form of reflective practice. This means you can achieve this rapport and trust with any client you encounter. Secondly, many health coaches lack the broad expertise needed to support health and well-being. In this course, Experts in behavior change, nutrition, and exercise have produced content that will provide you with the foundations to support people across all these vital areas of human development. Lastly, the program has embedded professional qualifications from the Royal Society of Public Health to increase the standards you work within and the respect you demand as a practitioner. A vital step in becoming a health coach is understanding the current landscape of health. You need to be aware of what health is the contemporary issues in health, and the risk factors associated with them. In particular, from a health coaching standpoint, it is key to know how health and illness differ and how well-being and stress influence disease progression. In this part of your program, these elements will be discussed. By the end of the content, you will be able to distinguish disease from well-being and be aware of how perceptions and emotions interlink with lifestyle choices and the development of disease. Moreover, the role of stress in the body will be explored and the application of relaxation techniques explained. Lastly, you will be introduced to behavior change as a discipline and how communication development and reflection should form part of your daily tasks. Health coaching is a dynamic mix of psychological and physiological knowledge, or in other words, understanding the mind and how the body works. People's environment, lifestyles, and relationships impact their actual biology and risk of disease. This holistic view of people's health requires a detailed understanding of how the body works and how external factors may modify normal functioning, which is called pathophysiology. Therefore, the basics of anatomy and physiology 
will provide you with the knowledge to be able to understand how lifestyle choices may lead to dysfunction in these areas. Also, you require the knowledge of how illness develops and how the altered normal function or pathophysiology occurs. This allows you to better link how lifestyle may influence disease and poor well-being. For example, the role of obesity, stress, stigma, inflammation, and diabetes. Although behavior change will be introduced as a discipline in an earlier module, this professional coaching content extends the concepts and practices of behavior change and introduces you to a range of approaches, and more importantly, the underpinning values that are important for optimal health coaching. Instead of giving you a large toolkit of techniques without any guidance on when each one or which one is best, the important overarching styles will be presented and explained. There will be a large practical application to this side of the program as your style of a coach is challenged, molded, and reflected on by you. You will explore complementary aspects of coaching, including motivational interviewing, cognitive behavioral approaches, positive psychology, and emotional intelligence. Nutrition is a complex field. The dietary choices of your clients are fundamental for their health, wellness, and human performance. The content in this section will prepare you to support your clients using the latest evidence-informed approaches and provide you with an understanding of when they are useful and when they are not. The core principles will be explored, and then contemporary strategies in nutrition will be examined, including gut health, dietary strategies for weight management, and nutrition in genetics. In line with the statement made in the opening blurb, no other health coaching course provides you with such a range of knowledge and skills. Health fitness equips you to understand how to prescribe exercise and the role of physical activity and exercise for health and wellness. Tailoring exercise is an important aspect of health as exercise is a stressor, so it is important to consider the range of strategies and the person's circumstance when making these decisions. This part of the program provides a consolidated look at the potential options to maximize health and well-being. You will explore aspects like fasted training, high-intensity interval training, resistance training, and many more. Lastly, it is important to consider the practices you develop to demonstrate your professionalism. Due to the relationship a health coach pursues, it is important to establish clear protocols for your ethical practice, safeguarding, boundaries or care, and business acumen. Many health coaches possess a natural tendency to care for people. It is important to be aware of the need for both personal and client protection and business sense if you are to succeed in this field. That concludes the introduction to your health coaching program. Many of the individual modules will discuss the requirements, but the assessment for this program will involve a range of workbooks and a practical exam. More details will be provided by your tutors who will contact you. I hope you enjoy your program.